Hello, my soccer universe. Well, first day of European qualifiers um, this fall. Didn't see too much. I saw a little bit of Armenia, Italy. I saw a little bit of Ireland, Switzerland, but none, no game complete. And you know, I was quite. I had a pretty big day yesterday, I guess. So I was quite tired. So very better. But I watched highlights where they were provided because, for instance, for. Finland against Greece I got 50 seconds and then the highlight stopped and same thing um, I think for Israel and Northern Macedonia where you know I wanted to watch highlights but I didn't see them but let's go through it um, Armenia Italy was the early game um, and I saw the second oh, I saw listened put the kids to bed so 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 slash listen to the second half and Armenia actually put Italy under quite some pressure early, early on and took the lead through Carpetian in the 11th and then Italy took a while to get back but they really had them, uh, many chances in the first half uh, Belotti gets the equalizer in the 28th there was a, another chance by Belotti that Chiesa assisted that um, he could not convert um, also I think uh, Bernadeschi had a shot that just tipped the crossbar. So Italy was well on and quite dominating. Uh, but late in the first half, a uh, send-off for Armenia, uh, which was Carpetian should have gone an elbow uh, to Bonucci. I didn't really see it that way. I think even the commentator said, no. <clears throat> not really. But that actually destroyed a little bit the game because Armenia then was only going back they had the counter chances but in the end Italy without having too much um, how to say too much speed but they in the end broke it down Lorenzo Pellegrini who had come on uh, a header after uh, Bonucci cross kind of tricky uh, made it 277 and three minutes later Belotti uh, with a shot that went off the post to the goalkeeper and in uh, makes it 3-1 and Italy is off to a good start in the group. Uh, Finland beats Greece 1-0 through a Puki penalty. I would love to tell you more, but I really cannot. I know that uh, Finland were uh, favorites, Greece with a new coach, but all I know is the penalty. So if you can fill me in, please do so below. It seems to have been an even game within Greece having more possession. And then Bosnia beats Liechtenstein 5-0. So if we look now at the standings there, uh, Italy 5 out of 5, that's the first time that they ever did that. Finland is second with 12 points. They only had the loss to Italy. So uh, that's pretty remarkable, I, I would say. Bosnia is already in trouble um, with 7 points, but you know may get in there. Uh, Armenia... Six points, Greece, four points. I honestly think those two are out and Liechtenstein has zero points. Uh, let's go to the next group. It's the Ireland, Switzerland, uh, Denmark group. I think it's group D. I oh, cannot see it here, but I think this is group D. Um, Ireland, Switzerland. I saw the first half, Switzerland dominating Ireland, actually being a little bit... Nah, I don't want to say more dangerous. They had, had the first chance, but Switzerland had a few, but nothing really great. It was more... It was a technically dense game, let's put it that way. Um, Cher then puts Switzerland in 74th uh, in the lead. I mean, there was a big deal. Michakiri was not playing because he says he cannot concentrate now. He needs to say Liverpool, blah, 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 blah. Since he's, you know, of Albanian descent, that causes all kinds of trouble in Switzerland, as it would probably in Austria and Germany too. Um, so, but you, th you thought with Scher's um, goal, and Bolo had a big miss also, that Switzerland would get their deserved victory, but Ireland pulls one out and um, first hits the bar and then um, Mbabu cannot hold on to the ball while he wants to clear it. A big cross that's deflected comes in and McGoldrick uh, makes it 1-1. Switzerland had one less chance, but it stayed 1-1. I would have warned the winner of this game. So, I'm not Swiss, not wearing Switzerland or um, Ireland today. Gibraltar, Denmark, 0 6, and I think that was that in this group. So, uh, the standings there are now Ireland with five games. It's a very uneven group because Ireland, uh, Switzerland had. Um, 
uh, Nations League uh, playoffs. Uh, final, final four to play. So Switzerland has very little games. So Ireland, five points, 11 games, uh, 11 points, Denmark four and eight, and Switzerland only three games with five points. But you know, this is one win and two draws. So uh, Georgia three and Gibraltar zero. So uh, this group needs to even out a little bit to really be saying uh, a lot. It will be a dogfight, I think, between Ireland, Denmark, and Switzerland. Uh, that's what, what it looks like. Um, I would favor the Swiss and the Danes, but you know, Ireland has the fighting spirit, so you never know what they will do. Then let's move on to the next group with Romania and Spain. Uh, since I'm wearing Spain, you already know Spain actually had good control over the game, got a penalty that Ramos converted, um, had other chances, and then early in the second half made it 2 0 with uh, through Paco Alcácer. Wonderful move. Uh, Ceballos with a wonderful pass that Alba just had to. Uh, cross in and Paco Alcácer had no problems pulling that in, into the net and you think yeah 2 nil for Spain 47 7th minute they've been dominating nothing will happen well Andone pulls one back in the 59th and still not much but then there was a deep ball and um, Romania is through and goal and uh, Llorente not the striker <laughs> I think from, he's from Real so 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 that uh, just clears the ball ahead of him with the foot. Unfortunately, the referee said this was a clearance. Uh, this was a foul. Last man and Llorente sent off. Huge, huge protest by the Spanish. Um, rightfully so, I have to say. And yeah, uh, the freaky didn't uh, bring anything. But then there was also a huge uh, chance by uh, Romania to equal the stoppage time, which probably would have been a little bit too much. But yeah. Spain gets off with a big, uh, win, another five wins out of five. Um, I would have uh, loved to tell a little bit more about Norway, Malta and Faroe Island, Sweden, but you know, didn't see how that's 2-0 for Norway and 4-0 for Sweden, uh, which in this group now puts the Nordic countries maybe in a better position. We have Spain 15, they will qualify and then for the second vote, I think it's between Norway and Sweden with Sweden holding a slight advantage. Yeah, also that they play uh, now Norway at home. So Sweden 10, Norway 8, Romania only 7 and Malta and Faroe Islands 3 and 0. And then the last one in Austria's group, Poland's group, uh, Israel, Northern Macedonia. Um, well, a win would have put Israel in a pretty good position, I, I would say. Again, didn't see many highlights. I saw that there was a goal from Munoz Tabur was ruled out for a supposed handball. Zahavi gives him in the 55th a 1-0 uh, lead, but Ademi equalizes, and that's how it stands. And that means that Israel is now in danger of losing the second spot, because uh, at the moment, and they will play all today, Poland leads 4 out of 4, Israel 8 if uh, Austria wins against Latvia, which is to be expected. Uh, Austria will uh, leap ahead of Israel. Uh, they have six, Israel eight with the game in hand. Northern Macedonia has five points, Slovenia five, Latvia zero. Of course, tonight is the big clash. I mean, there's not only Austria <laughs> and Latvia and Poland and so on playing, but there's also the big clash between uh, Germany and the Netherlands, which you can guess is the one that I'll be watching and I have a little eye on the other games. But um, yeah, I want to watch that one. That's the big one for me. Anyway, fill me in on the games that I couldn't give you much more info. Uh, I would love to hear a little bit more. As I said, my highlights, especially the Finland high highland broke up after 42 seconds. And the same happens for the Israel uh, highlight. I saw at least a non given goal, so that might be a talking point that people <laughs> may have missed. But I would have liked to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.